Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabriella Katano from Katano Glam and this is Katano Glam English. Today is my first Halloween makeup tutorial and I'm gonna teach you how to go from this to this. So subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post. Si quieren ver ese tutorial en español, pues pueden visitar mi otro canal Katano Glam. Okay, let's get started. All right, so the first step is to take the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer in shade C7 and prep my eyelids. You guys know the drill. And today I'm gonna be taking the Jeffree Star X Morphe palette. I am so excited to use it. It has so many amazing colors that you guys could create so many looks with. So we're actually gonna hop into the lightest green of the palette and start to place that on our crease. Once that shade is all blended out on one side, we're gonna hop over and do the same exact thing to the other side. And if you notice, I am taking a pretty wide and fluffy blending brush to apply this shade right into the crease. Next, I'm taking this brighter green shade from the palette and a C512 brush from Crown, which is a pointier, tapered, fluffy brush. And I'm gonna apply this shade right into the crease, but instead of blending it out like I did with the other shade, I'm kind of keeping it more on the crease so that it deepens it up a little bit more and gives us more of that green vibe we're going for. And once we get the intensity of the green that we want, we're going to switch on over to the Wet n Wild Makers Multi Stick in the shade green. This is more like a creamy jumbo stick from NYX, sort of, and it's gonna serve like a cream shadow that then will make the makeup last longer when we put a shadow on top of it to blend it out. Like I said, once that jumbo multi stick is laid out with the color, we're gonna take the same brush that we had before with a brighter green eyeshadow just to blend it all out. Now I'm taking a smaller and more dense brush from Morphe and I'm gonna be packing on this black from the Jeffree Star palette right into the outer corners of my eyelids. This is gonna intensify the makeup, give it that smoky effect and also that cat eye effect that we're gonna create in just a second. And now I'm hopping back into that Crown C512 brush to go over that black and kind of blend it in with the green a little bit to make sure that there are no harsh lines and that everything is nice and blended out. Now I'm taking this Alamar Cosmetics concealer brush and just adding a little bit of concealer to cut that crease. It's true, we are going to cut the crease and clean up any areas on the eyelids that have a little bit of that green. We want to add a different color to it, so I'm just taking that Jeffree Star Magic Star concealer to do that. Once the crease is cut, I'm going to now take this super metallic glittery shade with my finger and start applying it to the inner portion of my eyelid. It is so freaking pigmented. It is the perfect chunky glitter eyeshadow. I definitely would suggest applying it with your finger though because with an actual brush, it's gonna be a lot harder to get that same pigment, but I'm obsessed with it guys. And it totally took this look to the next level of glam. And off camera, I use this L'Oreal felt tip eyeliner to create this cat eye winged eyeliner. And I think it's the perfect way to make this look even more glam than it already is. All right, guys, it's time to give a little TLC to our lashes, and I'm gonna apply this Il Maquillage Mascara to both of my lashes before I apply false lashes. It's really important to try to get the mascara as close to your root as possible, especially if you're gonna be applying false lashes so that your lashes and the false lashes can mesh together a lot easier. All right, my lashes are ready to go and I'm gonna be taking these foaming lashes from Kiss in the style Gala and applying them with some duo lash glue off camera. And voila, this is what my eye makeup looks like with the false lashes. I'm obsessed. They are perfect not only for everyday glam, but also for Halloween looks like this. And now I'm gonna be taking this little hair scrunchie or hair tie, however you wanna call it, and I'm gonna put my hair back because it's about to get a little crazy here and I don't want my hair to get all messy. All right, guys, it's time to hop into these two Maron paint palettes. The first one I have is the Paradise paint palette, and the second one is the Paradise in Pastel. And I am going to be using these brushes today that I got on Amazon, but you can pick them up at any of your local art supply stores that carry brushes like this. These paints are water activated, and the first one I'm gonna take is this green one, and yep, we're just gonna go right into it. I started applying layers of this green paint to my face, and let me tell you, it took me a lot longer than I thought. So if you guys are planning on doing a look like this, I definitely suggest planning out your time beforehand, maybe practicing with the paints before your actual Halloween party or whatever it is that you're doing when you're gonna use these paints. Like I said, I did apply several layers, and I honestly, I honestly realized that applying it with a tiny brush like this might not have been the best thing because it was a little bit streaky so I had to go in with an actual sponge afterwards to blend it all out. 
And surprise, I am now Shrek or Fiona, whoever you think that I actually look like. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, just kidding. Um, I'm going to move on to the next paint color because I did want to add a little bit of like a highlight to this. So I went into the Maron Paradise Pastel Palette and I started applying the lightest green shade. And like I said, I'm trying to create kind of like a cream highlight look to this. This was a little bit easier because by now I kind of got the hang of using these paints and I realized that if I was going to use a sponge, I needed to use it before parts of the paint dried out. So it was a lot easier to blend it this time around. I think at this this point I kind of gave up on the blending it's kind of like this is as good as it's gonna get like I said make sure to practice before and now I'm switching over to a fluffier brush because I'm gonna apply a little bit of this gray eyeshadow to the contour points of my face meaning like my cheekbones my temples my chin area my nose a little bit I couldn't use an actual contour color because obviously that wasn't gonna show so I think that this grayish color was the best next thing now I'm going to pick up this orangey reddish tone. It's kind of like a brick red now that I look at it. And I'm going to apply it with the same exact fluffy brush to my apples of my cheeks and along my cheekbones as well. And by the way, if you guys see that I'm looking down, it's because that's where my mirror is. I'm taking the Fantasy Makers Iridescent Paint Pot from Wet n Wild Beauty to apply a little bit of a creamy liquid highlight sort of thing. And I'm applying it like I would just apply it with any sort of cream highlighter product, just putting it on the high points of my face with my finger. And then just blending it all out so that it is nice and seamless and blended. I'm now grabbing this Aesthetica Cosmetics Starlight Highlighter in the shade Venus. And I'm going to apply it over those areas that I just applied the paint pot from Wet n Wild. Because I wanted to sort of set that highlighter and make it even more vibrant. With the same brush I used to apply the black on my eyelids, I am now taking it and applying the residue onto my lower lash line to smoke out the rest of this eye look. I'm taking this black eye pencil that I actually got in this month's BoxyCharm and you can use whatever eye pencil you want because I'm literally just putting bottom eyeliner to finish up the eye look. I decided to hop back into that Aesthetica Cosmetics Starlit Highlighter because I wanted to add a little bit extra highlighter on my inner corners and underneath the brow arch just to give it even more glam on the eyes because I felt like, I don't know, this makeup was really cool but the green was so extra that I needed my eyes to pop even more. I decided to line my lips with the same exact eyeliner because I actually don't have a black lip liner. Whoops, surprise, surprise. And I'm taking the Morphe M421 brush to blend out my lip liner so that when I apply my lipstick, it all matches. And now I'm actually taking this lipstick, which I think the shade is oil stick, but I could be wrong. It's from Urban Decay and I've never used it before. So I thought it was going to be matte, but it ended up being kind of glossy and I'm kind of living for it. And I actually wanted to make it a little metallic, so I added just a pinch of this highlight to the center of my lips. And I just went ahead and added a little bit of mascara to the bottom part of my eyes. Okay, so now I'm going to take this stencil that I got from L'Oreal, and I was actually super nervous to use it. I didn't want to place it in the wrong area. I didn't want it to mess everything up, but it actually came out really good. So if you guys are interested in creating some sort of art on your face, like a spider web, etc., for Halloween, then you can go ahead and look up stencils and if you do it like I did just add a little shadow boom there you have it guys I decided to take the L'Oreal felt tip liner again because okay it didn't come out absolutely perfect so I wanted to just perfect the lines but I think that it did come out pretty good I'm taking the heavy metal liquid glitter from Urban Decay in the shade Midnight Cowboy just to add a little bit of sparkle and glitter to my face to kind of tie it in with the eyeshadow I also added this glitter to my beauty mark on top of my lips which I don't think I showed you guys that I actually drew on and also to the side of my eye all right it's about to get even more wild out here here guys I'm letting my hair down because I am gonna be spray painting it with this L'Oreal spray paint can thing I think it's the L'Oreal Colorista and I'm using the shade purple to make it extra witchy and I was so nervous for this guys I actually used a towel to wrap around my clothes because I didn't want my black dress to get all of this paint on it and they actually recommend that you do this so that your clothes doesn't get all ruined all right I am not saying that I am a hair expert as far as spray painting goes but I think that I did a pretty normal, decent job for this Halloween look. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side off camera and I'll be right back with the finished look.
So there you have it, my sexy green alphaba glam witch, whatever you want to call it. I am obsessed with this look. I've been dying to do a witch look for Halloween for years and I never have. I think it came out great and it was a pretty fairly easy look to do. Again, it just takes a little bit of time. So let me know in the comments down below if you like this look, what else you want me to do for Halloween and make sure you are subscribed to my channel and you hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post and keep up with me on my social media because I will be posting way more looks over there. All right, see you in my next video. Happy Halloween.